Good evening everybody, Ken Krushka here. So, since I got into these Underwood number 5's, I just picked up another one. And this one decodes at 1912. I was actually buying it because the nickel on my 1930 that I showed you guys a few things about the other day, um, I thought, oh, I'll just get some one for parts. But the nickel's in about the same condition, and I don't really, I'm not that way anyway. But what I wanted to show you was uh, how easy it is to remove a carriage on one of these. Since I did it on that 1930, and I didn't show you all that. By the way, the 1912, this is your shift lock. You actually have it on a uh, um, toggle switch kind of thing. So, let's see here. I haven't done uh, any oiling or cleaning it, but there. It's like a toggle switch instead of an actual key button. And there's your unlock there. This has this kind of thing going on for the red-black selector instead of that speed thing. But uh, let's pull this carriage off. Oh, and if you ever got to look serial numbers up, the typewriter database is a great resource for that. I'm sure I've talked about it before, but just how easy it is. When you get in there, you uh, go under whatever make model you want, and you can just scroll through until you find find it listed. And... Uh, but the breakdown on this to be 1912, that was awesome. One other thing that's different between this and that 1930 is it's got a hand winder for the uh, for the spring drum. So it's, it's a bit different, but the carriage should come off the same. So let's just pull that quick. Um, I did start taking the screws off. There's a little stop back here for the carriage, so when it was going, it would, that's the end line there. Um, you'll, you see that underneath there, that thing moving there. That doing it, that's going to come out with this screw here. So, and sometimes on putting something like that back in, you learn how to take it and put it back in by dropping it a few times. So it's going to be right here on this little ledge anyway. And you pull the one from the other end of the. This is the uh, front margin scale. I think I spoke too too fast when I was saying. I think that might how that might correlate with Elite or uh, Pica font, because I have not seen one that's, that's measured any differently. Once you pull these, uh, I think it's just flat out of margin scale, but once you pull the left and the right screws, one's going to be, this side's going to be longer than the other one because it's got to retain that stop, then you can just take it out. And the less things you got to take off, the better. Be careful so you don't bend the uh, the margin settings or the pointer. You could loosen these like I, that's what I did the first time I did one on a 1930. Okay, but just just walk it out, you know. The less you have to take off, the better. So now you've taken that off, which was retaining it under the front. So now that's all loose and free and wiggly. Now in the back, you've got one on this side and one on this side, which hold the carriage rail. And of course, these are going to be these are going to be a, oh, not as bad as tight as I thought it would be. Very cool. So there's that. We got one over here. Are we still in frame? Okay. They take some oomph to get going, I guess, but that's part of the game. All right. So now this whole carriage is going to lift off. Fingers crossed that I can free it from there. And if, oh yeah, if you've got the uh, if you've got the uh, draw band connected, make sure you remove it. So there's your carriage uh, bar there, carriage rail. It's going to walk. You'll probably take it off to clean it up. You know, there's rust on it. If you're taking one of these apart, you're going to find rust. There's your feed rollers. But that's how you remove it from the rest of the uh, rest of the machine. Four screws, and you're able to remove the whole thing. And from there, it's just a matter of reversing the procedure when you put it in. Lining up this uh, groove on each end of this bar and uh, putting it in that that in that hole, like that. Get your front, you know, down and screw your backs in to hold it first and then take your 
reverse the procedure, slide that in like so, throw your screws in there and you're, you're rocking and rolling. However, I'm going to keep this one apart because I have things to do in there, so come on, guy. So that's how you do it, people. All right. Everybody have a good day. I'm going to play with some rust here.